So friends, this is our interaction of developing critical thinking. We used to call it as miracle exposure program once in a, a long time back. But now we have changed everything, changed a lot of things. And now we call it as a program to develop critical thinking. Why do you need critical thinking is the question. That is the root of development of rational thinking. In a country like ours, you go to the people, talk about atheism, rationalism, somebody will ask you how the universe came. You say Big Bang Theory. Very good. How did life come? Evolution, molecular evolution, cellular evolution, blah, 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 blah. Finally, that man will come to this, that Evai, leave all this. In my neighbor's house, there is a Baba who produces something from thin air just by waving his hands in the air like this. Or another man tells you that in my village, there is a great Baba with supernatural powers who walks on fire. So, when you answer these people, you try to tell them that is because of this, 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 blah, blah, blah. Finally, that man will turn around and tell you, if you think it's all that easy, why don't you do it yourself and show? This is where it starts. And in our society, we take a lot of things for granted. Never, never question anything. Because your mental conditioning is like that right from the child. Well, I am now 72 years, can't hear properly, can't see properly, and with these spectacles I am almost blind, I should say. By the way, check these spectacles. Has any of you thought that there are no lens in this? All of us are very rational people. These spectacles have come into our life Maybe hundred years ago, not even that. But yet, we assume that when this frame is there, the lens are there. Well. Now, if you see the man in the middle, it's James Randi. This spectacle trick, and do not assume anything do not take anything for granted, is what I learned from him. I think this is around 10 years back, when he came to Bangalore. I spent four hours with him, and I think I should say, one of the most memorable hours in my life that I spent with him. And I was thinking greatly of his psychic surgery, but he told me, Narendra, your psychic surgery was great. So I was sort of surprised. Anyway, coming back to our country, and our godmen, the number one godmen of the good old ancient days, who earned billions of, I should say around two lakh crores, doing the cheap tricks is the man from Puttaparthi who was called Satya Sai Baba. Check his video. God, he delights them at his daily audiences by magically producing holy ash and scattering it on the crowd. If you compress the ash, then you can make such tablets. Such a tablet can be hidden in the hand and one can move the hand without losing the tablet. Here, one sees the pill of ash between his fingers. Here, it is crushed. The 
cash bills in his closed left hand. He takes a pill over to his right hand. Goldenham sits to the left and follows intently. Now, then, is it a miracle that we are witnessing? A slate of hand camouflaged by a handkerchief. I think this is pretty old. All of us have seen it. Now, next is, is another flagship miracle producing a chain from thin air in front of the then Prime Minister of India. Scientists may believe that their guru can suspend the law of physics at will, but skeptics are now questioning the evidence. This video of Sai Baba is now being circulated secretly in India. It appears to show the godman using a stage magician's trick to produce a gold necklace for a distinguished guest. Just before he hands over an award, his fingers seem to be searching for something underneath the wooden box. He then draws back his hand, waves it around, and the necklace appears as if from thin air. The event was witnessed by India's Prime Minister and recorded. Light on, please. No. When Vikas was asking me, what are you going to do? I said I am going to show some videos and I am going to explain. He said, what explain? It's better that you do it and show. So I thought, here is this miracle of producing a chain from thin air, which was exposed by Doordarshan. And I think he wanted me to show that. And where is he? I wanted somebody with a memento. I wanted somebody with a gold chain. Listen. So I have abandoned all here to do it alone and with empty hands in front of all of you. Nothing in my hands. All five fingers apart. I just take this hand, wave it in the air like this and do it like this. And here it comes. A gold chain with a ring. When I did this on NDTV, there was a discussion about Godman. PC Sarkar was on that. When I introduced myself to PC Sarkar, he said, Sir, what are you introducing yourself to me, sir? I've seen you on this, 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 this blah, 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 blah. But when it came to the question of asking about Satisai Baba, he did not utter a word. He said, just leave it. Just leave it. Because many of the magicians do not want to commit. So then Barkhadat asked me, do it again. I said, do you want me to do it again? She said, yes. She said, yeah, I'll do it again. Here is the plastic thumb. Here is the chain. I put it like this. Show my hands to be empty. Wave it in the air and put it like this. This is it. I can do it any number of times you like. But the first time is always the greatest because you never know how it came. So all these miracles are cheap, stupid tricks once you know what's behind them. Until then, they remain miracles. So our main job is to convey to the people that these are not miracles, but they are just tricks using chemicals, slate of hand, special apparatus and mental suggestion, good stage presence and a horde of bucks around you who will clap at everything that you do. That's how all these godmen came up in life. Now, these are the good old days. Like somebody was saying, the miracle stopped because of the Russians. So came the new generation of miracle mongers, the double mister, Jaggi, also known as Sadguru, the winking contortionist, you, I think you know his name. He sells soaps 
detergents and gomutra that's the most important part of it yeah the largest selling brand of urine in the world is gomutra of patanjali we'll talk about that a little later now let's come to this double mister shri shri ravi shankar from papanasam he came to bengaluru settled in uh, did his degree in uh, national college where which was under the influence of dr h nachimaya imagine what a product and this man starts teaching people to breathe <laughs> how to breathe and calls it as art of living and then one day he went to iit kanpur not any ordinary place but iit kanpur there he called a boy on the stage yes one of you please come up here this is that imagine iit kanpur not any ordinary college yeah one of you come on the stage please yeah, light on please now we watch what is doing He's catching that boy sign he took the boy sign useless fellow aajkal ke ladke hain koi taaqat nahi hai no sent at all why you know milawat ke khana khate hain they eat all polluted food they drink uh, adulterated food polluted water polluted air no taaqat no sent at all and when he saw that he became very agitated so he referred to all the tar patris you know they write on palm leaves the rishi muni is sitting in himalayas in the caves meditating they wrote their things on all these palm leaves don't ask me where they got the palm leaves from but they are supposed to have written and a formula called shakti drops at that time first shakti drops was said to be immunity booster when he went to iit kanpur in 2011 i think it be 10 it became pollution remover within 10 seconds of applying the shakti drops all pollution will go and this is made from himalay ki anmol jadi bootiya the valuable herbs got from himalayas you know this himalay ki jadi bootiya very famous I saw an ad of Keshwardak hair, hair oil on TV. Bought one liter bottle of it. Applied it. <laughs> What are you laughing at? Here is Kumareshan, who applied two liters. I think uh, Professor Dhaneshwar Sahu applied only half a liter. But if you see my uncle. my elder uncle my father's elder brother i don't know what you would have said you are laughing at me you know why he had only 5% of the hair that i have on my head and and he was manufacturing and selling a brand of hair oil and this hair oil was supposed to make your hair grow like this but nobody ever asked him why you didn't apply it to your own head that is the greatness of our country anyway he called the boy useless fellow and then he said i have discovered this shakti drops from himalayan herbs and when i talked about himalayan herbs i remember my trips to uttarakhand when you go to uttarakhand you have to go only by car or by road no train there no flights so we were going and we were going by car and the driver used to stop wherever the water is coming from the hills he used to fill all the bottles in the car with that uh, water and he used to drink tell me also abhi pgs sir i said kyun he said isme anmol jadi budiyon ka sattva hai 
सेहत के लिए बहुत अच्छा है देन आई लुक्ड अप द हिल एंड आई कैन सी हाउसेस अप द हिल एंड वेन आर हाउसेस देर दे यूज द वॉटर एंड यू नो दैट वॉटर स्लोज डाउन उत्तम इज नोज वेरी वेल ही सम नेपाल ऐसा मुझे नहीं चाहिए भाई एनी वे यू नो वॉट हैपन इन आई टी कानपुर इट टू शक्ति ड्रॉप्स विद इन टेन सेकेंड ऑल इवल इफेक्ट ऑफ पोल्यूशन विल गो वन टू थ्री फोर फाइव सिक्स सेवन एट नाइन टेन नाउ वॉच What happened in IIT Kanpur? They did not laugh at him. They did not stand in silence. They went and fell at his feet, said "Jai Ho, Guru Dev," and hundreds of bottles of the Shakti drops were sold, made by Shri Shri Products. So these people sell all sorts of junk. and talk all nonsense also what did i do first time i bent his hand like this second time i bent his hand like this this is a part of quackery called as applied kinesiology google applied kinesiology you will know it's a type of quackery in the europe and ravi shankar is not the only man to use it i will show you a video of a revolutionary discovery made by our own contortionist the bearded guy who does yoga and says it can cure all diseases to ye isme radiation hai to ye haath niche aa jayega taakat lagao pandit ji aur taakat lagao pura taakat lagao ye radiation wala mobile pakad rakha hai na to taakat lagane par bhi नीचे आ रहा है अब इसमें मैं तुलसी पत्र लगा देता हूं बस इतना सा इससे इसका रेडिएशन खत्म हो जाता है अब ये इसके साथ तुलसी पत्र लग गया ऐसे ही बस अब पकड़ो अब इसका रेडिएशन खत्म हो गया इससे अब देखो अब ऐसे पहले जितना ही ताकत लगा रहा ठीक है अब पूरा ताकत लगा रहा हूं तो भी हाथ नीचे नहीं आ रहा है या आप घर में जाके कोई भी प्रयोग करके देख ले ये आपका एनर्जी लेवल एकदम डाउन चला जाता है अब ये रेडिएशन फ्री हो गया इसलिए एक लाख तुलसी पत्र से भगवान का अभिषेक करते हैं पूज्य स्वामी और वो प्रसाद में आप लेके कुछ खा लेना कुछ मोबाइल में लगा लेना घर में तुलसी ये दल होगा तो आपके घर में कोई भी गलत चीज का रेडिएशन नहीं होगा तो नहीं तो मोबाइल से रेडिएशन होता है टीवी से रेडिएशन होता है जितने भी इलेक्ट्रॉनिक चीजें लैपटॉप से रेडिएशन होता है आपके घर में जो भी इलेक्ट्रॉनिक चीजें उन सबसे रेडिएशन होता है आपके घर में तुलसी पत्र होगा तो कोई रेडिएशन नहीं होगा ये इसका साइंटिफिक अर्थ है और यार ये तो मैंने एक सिंपल प्रयोग बताया है ना अब जैसे वापस अब ना देखो अब ना तो कोई कोई मोबाइल है कुछ भी नहीं अभी हाथ रखो अभी वो पूरा हाथ में ताकत लगा के रखो अभी वापस ताकत है जैसे कोई दूसरा मोबाइल पकड़ा दो अथवा चीनी चीनी हाथ में रख दो सोल्ट हाथ में रख दो एकदम से एक सिंपल प्रयोग है मैं बहुत दिनों से इसको बताना चाह रहा था पहली बार उड़ूपी में ये रहस्य उद्घाटन किया फर्स्ट टाइम आई एम टेलिंग द एनर्जी द फिलोसफी ऑफ एनर्जी डिवाइन एनर्जी द फिलोसफी ऑफ रेडिएशन क्या है ये रेडिएशन की फिलोसफी साइंस ऑफ रेडिएशन क्या है कैसे असर करता है तो एक बताया तो आप भी अपना मोबाइल में तुलसी पत्र लगा के रखना ये एक छोटी सी बात है वी शट एम अप इन एग्जैक्टली वन डे नेक्स्ट डे मॉर्निंग आई कॉल्ड ए प्रेस कॉन्फ्रेंस इन मैंगलोर विच इज सिक्सटी किलोमीटर टू द साउथ ऑफ उड़ीपी एंड एट दैट टाइम ही टॉक अबाउट पेरियर ऑल्सो सेम टाइम एंड इनवाइटेड गॉट इन एफ ट्रबल वन फ्रॉम आवर साइड अदर फ्रॉम यूर साइड that time that was in november 2019 i think yeah. and i called a press conference kept a mobile phone heaped full tulsi leaves on that made a call the thing rang i said if the radiation is stopped 
Why should it ring? Then I put it in your microwave oven and showed that it will not ring if radiation is blocked. And next day they asked him in a press conference. So now you do not hear of this philosophy of radiation anymore. This man. But his products, his junk, for example, Gomutra. See the ad of his Gomutra. Watch. Good morning everyone. Today I want to share something with you. So our life is very useful. I have two glasses of water. When we are born, our body is clean like water. Like this water is clean like this. Now, as we are growing, some chemicals, some drugs go into our body. What is our body? I have Vitalin, which the doctors use. Then we have to clean it with water. If we have to clean it with water, we have to clean it with water. If we have to clean it with water, we have to clean it with water. तो इसके बॉडी के अंदर की आटे ये फाड़ देता है इसको हम एक कटोरी में ले रहे हैं लेट्स सी क्या होता है अगर ये हमारे बॉडी के अंदर जाता है कोई भी केमिकल वगैरह तो हमारा बॉडी कुछ ऐसा हो जाता है हमारा बॉडी इस तरह से हो जाता है अब मेरे पास पतंजलि का गौधन अर्क है गौमूत्र है इसका एक ढक्कन में इसमें डाल रही हूं इसको जैसे ही इसमें डालते हैं ये प्योर क्लीन हो जाता है हमारे बॉडी में जितनी भी केमिकल इफेक्ट्स होती है ये इसको खत्म कर देता है अब इसमें मैं कितना भी विटामिन डालू कोई फर्क नहीं पड़ेगा ये बिल्कुल क्लीन रहेगा जैसे एज इट इज था जैसे हम डॉन होते हैं तो बताना क्या चाहती हूँ दोस्तों ज्यादा दवाइयां या कुछ लेने की जरूरत नहीं है इसका एक ढक्कन हफ्ते में सिर्फ एक बार भी अगर आप पानी में डाल के पीते हैं आपके बॉडी के लिए बहुत सेहतमंद है सो आई सजेस्ट गौमूत्र पिया इमेजिन दिस नन ऑफ दिंग्स कैन बी यूज एज डिफेमेशन इंग्लिश में because every single bit is truth and in india we have truth as defense for defamation now how do you do it one volunteer please somebody please come up here is water your body is as clean as this water and when you add chemicals it gets polluted Here is iodine solution. Instead of betadine, I am adding iodine from my own laboratory. We can add betadine also. So, this ka pollution ho gaya. This became very polluted. Right? Like your body. His body was clean. It got polluted. Now, what do you do? Isko nikalna kaise? Here is Gomutra Ark. We add this. Oh, wonderful. It is so good that this may kitna bhi bitter day in dalo. Fir bhi hamare body par koi asar nahi padega. See, I add more. Still it protects you. See. What a sad state of affairs. That people are drinking the urine of the Gomata, thinking that it can cure 440 diseases. By the way, she was talking about how media manipulates. Around 20 years back, I was giving a lecture in a place called Udupi where this Ramdev also spoke. It was a public lecture where somebody asked me, what do you say about Gomutra? I said Gomutra or any other Mutra is filtered, I am a biochemist. So I look at it from entirely from my subject point of view. I said there are millions of glomerular, uh, this uh, 
nephrons in the kidney, it's filtered at the glomerulus, reabsorbed in the tubules, concentrated in the collecting duct, finally goes to the bladder, from there it is excreted through the urethra. I said whether it is the mutra of a cow or a dog or a human being, the process is the same. So next day this paper puts a big headline, Narendra Naik says the urine of cow and dog are the same. <laughs> and then I go on an All India tour, that time no mobiles are there. But when I called home my nephew was saying, Mama you have got such a big bunch of postcards. And when I came home, a big bunch of postcards was there. Because a big campaign was launched by the newspaper who had published the headlines, they only manufactured letters to the editor. They said, I'm hurting religious sentiments by comparing Gomata to Sunakapita. And then a big, this one happened. A month the campaign was going on. When my campaign was going on elsewhere, their campaign was going on here. And at the end of the month, a retired session judge writes a three column write up about that, how I can be punished under various sections and in the last but one paragraph he says, if he were a Muslim or a Christian, we could have punished him, but since he is a Hindu, they consider me as a Hindu, nothing can be done because such has been a part of the Hindu religion, reforms and questioning. So that was the end of the story, I thought. But just five years back, I had gone to give a lecture at a polytechnic near Mangalore. And then one man asked, gets up and asks me, 10, 15 years back you had said that the urine of the cow and the dog or humans is the same. I said, yeah, same thing, but the composition may vary. He said, do you drink milk? I said, no. I know what he was arriving at. He said, do you use milk? I said, yeah. He said, in what? I said, coffee. You think milk of the dog and the cow is the same, since the urine is the same? I said, okay. So will you drink the milk of the cow? Uh, of the dog? I said, yes, why not? I said, I'll bring you the dog's milk. I said, I don't trust you. Bring the dog. You milk it in front of me and give me the milk. I'll boil it and drink. So he had to shut up because of that. So this is the way these people go on. And Big people, bade bade log, pedda pedda mansa log, they give certificates. What happened? Oh, I don't think that Gomutra, <laughs> he ran away. <laughs> because I, once for my program at uh, Chandigarh, I met one man from Nepal. He said, my gaon mein tha sir, jab bachcha tha, koi dawa nahi milta tha, kuch bhi bimari ho, hum Gomutra peete the. So that was the desperate state of people in villages in Nepal. That Gomutra was the only medicine available to them. Anyway, coming back to this, iodine got decolorized because sodium thiosulfate was added. I2 got converted to I minus. The I minus ion has no color. And for the simple cheap trick, it's considered as the greatness of the product of Gomo, Gomatas kidneys. Anyway, now they are going to have a, they wanted IIT to certify about the effectiveness of Gomutra, but I think nothing has happened so far. Because even IIT is driven to the wall, still may not be able to do it. Certify urine as a panacea. Anyway, coming back to big people talking big, big things. We come to T and Shesha. And if you see this, you will understand why... Tiyan Seshan is one of the most powerful men in India. He is chief electoral commissioner and has been tipped as a future president. He is also one of Sai Baba's most conspicuous devotees. I went to Sai Baba last week and he gave me this ring out of nowhere. It is a set with nine gems. There is a ruby in it, there is a pearl in it, there is a sapphire in it, there is an emerald in it. There is a diamond in it. God knows what else, nine stones. And he, Royal 
snatched this for me out of nowhere. And now I can touch it, I can pull it. Now you will say, I don't believe this. But it happened to me personally. And I am not uh, um, a jungly kind of person. I've got a master's degree in physics. I've got a master's degree in administration and economics from Harvard. I find nothing contradictory between that physics and the fact that I believe that this came out of the blue. Professional scientist. This was T. N. Sheshan, the middle class hero, who showed the powers of the election commission to the politicians of India. So he is a bureaucrat, quite bad. Before you saw politicians. And do you think scientists are better? Listen to Lakshman Rao, Professor of Civil Engineering, Indian Institute of Science, Bangalore. What? This do little to challenge such beliefs. This Sai Baba Shrine in Bangalore, the center of Indian science and technology, attracts professors from national research institutions. Experts in engineering, aeronautics, and geology gather to worship a man they believe has superhuman powers. People can be a little divine, they can be extraordinarily divine. And he is one such incarnation. We consider him divine. There is no question about it. I have been a scientist, I was a non-believer in Sai Baba himself. But today, I am an absolutely firm believer. I have seen things happen right before my eyes. And uh, the ring I am wearing here, you may perhaps like to. A picture of this. It was materialized, it was created by Sai Baba just by a wave of his hand. And to prove that there is no uh, hide and seek in this, at one point of time when he produced, he produces a lot of this vibhuti as we call it, or the ash, the white ash that you see. In uh, uh, Puttaparthi, where I went for the first time to meet him, what he did was he asked me whether I am going to use this vibhuti. Then I said yes. Then he gave it to me. He materialized once again by a small way of his hands. He circles his hand like this, and these things appear in his hand, and he gives it to him. Just to make me believe, because I am a scientist skeptical about this, he raised his hand like this, and then rolled up his sleeve, and showed me his armpit. He says, Pe people say, I hide these things in my armpit. Do you see that? I said, no, I have no explanation. So, definitely, Sai Baba can transport materials, can Dr. Lakshman Rao, Professor of Civil Engineering. Once I was invited to Katak by Professor Dhaneshwar Sahu, I think, for a Dr. Pattanayak Memorial Lecture. I was speaking there. I produced Vibhuti and gave to one of the... It was full of retired professors, vice chancellors and highly placed retired academicians. So to one I gave Vibhuti, to another I gave chain, third man I gave ring. The man who took Vibhuti said, ash, useless. The other man said, what is this role go? Then another man said, give me an apple, I said. I said, sir, are you a professor of physics? He said, how do you know? I said, because you asked for an apple. I said, I will try, sir. I just did <laughs> namaskar to him, waved my hand in the air like this. And as I kept on waving my hand in the air like this, I produced a brand new 100 rupee note from thin air and I just gave it to him. And I told him, why one apple, sir? You can buy two kilos of apple with this. <laughs> that time, apple was 50 rupees a kilo. He was looking at it. I said, give it back. He said, why? He said, I want it for my next program. You remember that, sir? And then, I started doing this in many places. I went to UK, where I produced a pound note from thin air, and it got cut. Five pound note. So for my next program there, I produced a hundred rupee note. They said, this is UK, why are you producing Indian currency? I said, unlike your currency, our currency is very strong. Anyway. Coming back to the point, it doesn't matter who you are, it doesn't matter in which chair you sit, you are as stupid as the next guy. That's all. And this is what 
many of our people tell you that X or Y has certified Z. I said X is a fraud, Y is a fraud, Z is also a fraud. All of them are frauds. And such frauds rule this country today. And tell you that banging of thalis will drive away COVID. And when this was being done, I was down with COVID. Just imagine that. And how I should be feeling. And then, there came pseudoscience. There came non-science. There came bad science. And finally, when vaccines were developed, anti-science came in. So all these were a part of our COVID policy. Pseudoscience, non-science like banging thalis, switching off lights. Pseudoscience like sugar pills, all these kadas, all the chavanprash, basmo, all junk. Then came bad science like hydroxychloroquine can cure COVID, this can cure COVID, that can cure COVID. Finally, nothing can cure COVID except your own body resistance. And when vaccines were developed for developing your body resistance, anti-science came. People started saying that it produces magnetism in your body. Somebody come here. They said uh, it produces magnetism in your body and coins will stick. See, you got COVID vaccination, see coin is sticking to your body. Somebody has been vaccinated, taken COVID vaccine, come here. They said electricity is generated. They put a bulb and the bulb lit. Not coming because you're not taken by. Wash your hands with water. Yeah, they, no, no. Any water you open a new sealed bottle. Let the water also be clean. No, wash your arm where it, where it was vaccinated. Because you are not taken bath today. And come here. Yeah, wash it. Yeah. Now come here. Let's see. Let's see the effect of COVID vaccine, how it works. Right. See? And this was shown on TV channels, saying that electricity is generated there. I said, why not to you connect your mixie <laughs> or your heater there? Let's see whether it works. Because this bulb is what is called as an inverter bulb. You put it in the plug, even if the electricity fails, if the circuit is complete, and for the circuit to be completed, you just need a very high resistance also is okay, but some conductivity should be there. And this was done to scare people from taking the vaccine. It is not that the vaccine is so efficient or all that, but that is the only thing that we have had. And even the side effects for the older people were far less than what would happen to them if they got COVID. Not all, all old people are like me who can survive COVID. Now I think somebody was asking about a movie which became very famous from our district called as Kantara. In that there is something called as a bhuta kola in which they keep a piece of lit camphor on the tongue and show that it is because of the power of the spirit that they can do it. It became very famous. This is a part of the same. A girl's palm burnt because camphor was kept. This is a college student. She came to a program of mine and showed her palm. 
When I saw it, I could make out that camphor was kept on her palm. I asked her, why did they keep it? She was not willing to reply. But her question was, when it was kept and burnt, it did not pain me on the same day, but next day it started paining. Why? That was her question. She never questioned why it was kept on her palm. Probably some question about some love affair or chastity or something like that. She was not willing to open her mouth about it, but her palm is burnt. Does lit camphor burn the palm? Let's check out. One of the women can come here. Actually, keeping it on the tongue is easier than holding it on the palm. Want to try? Put your tongue out as far as it will go. Put your head down. Don't do anything. I will keep it in Hold your breath. Hold your breath. Yeah. Yeah, so, what you saw in that movie is not a miracle. Anybody can do it. How is it you can do it? About ten years back, Mumbai Karnataka Sangha invited me to Mumbai to speak about miracle and belief. I, no, that, I think Kannada words are... Uh, I forgot them. Anyway, there I, no, no, not powered up, but Nambike uh, Matu, Muda Nambike. Where I said, keeping lit camphor on the hand is a Nambike. That's a belief. But the superstition is that it happens because of a miraculous power. It doesn't happen because of any miraculous power, but it happens because of a natural law of physics, a law of nature. That, this is camphor, goes directly from solid to vapor state, the new intermediate uh, liquid state, and I transferred it from one hand to other hand when it got hot. Keeping it on the tongue is easier than holding it on the palm, because the tongue is wet and it protects you from burning. Now, I think she was asking me about uh, a anchor on TV who is you will not believe what she did with me years back I'll show you the video same miracles with fire or heat What I showed you was what happens in a temple around 200 kilometers to the north of Mangalore. I think it's a place called Kumta, where during Dasara time they put their hands into boiling oil and remove vadas. They do it also during Ayappa time, where they remove apam, what they call as apam in Malayalam from burning ghee, a hot ghee. Now, the same we demonstrated for a channel called as News 24. And this Video got very high TRPs. You will not believe that this is the same anchor who talks what now. उनका भी पर्दाफाश होगा ऐसे पाखंडियों का पर्दाफाश होगा जो ये कहते हैं कि आग से खोलते हुए तेल से उनका कुछ नहीं होता है अगली बार आपके गली में कहीं घर के आसपास कोई इस तरह का पाखंडी अपनी दुकान चला रहा हो तो आप भी धावा जरूर बोलिएगा क्योंकि अब आपके सामने होगी सच्चाई नायक जी की जुबानी नायक साहब अब आप क्या दिखाने वाले हैं देखिए 
कभी कभी ये ही प्रूफ बाबा दिखाते हैं कि हम उबलते हुए तेल में हाथ डालते हैं तेल जब उबलता है तो बहुत खतरनाक चीज होती है इसलिए लोग सोचते हैं कि जो इसमें हाथ डालेगा वो जरूर चमत्कारी होगा क्योंकि एक चीज पड़ गया तो चाले आते हैं और ये पूरा हाथ डुबो रहा है इसको कुछ नहीं होगा ये सिलेंडर भी असली है और ये चूल्हा भी असली है और इस पर रखी कड़ाही में जो तो, तेल खोल रहा है वो भी असली है लेकिन इस खोलते हुए तेल का असर हमारी उंगलियों पर नहीं होगा ये नायक साहब कह रहे हैं तो आखिर क्या है ये तेल का तमाशा अंध विश्वास का झांसा होगा खुलासा नायक साहब हमारे साथ है और अब अब इसमें उंगलियां डाल दें क्या कुछ नहीं होगा मैंने तो अग्नि स्तंभन कर दिया जल्दी ये माइक नहीं पकड़ पाई तो दिक्कत हो जाएगी मुझे कुछ नहीं।, कुछ नहीं हो रहा है कुछ नहीं हुआ तीनों उंगलियां मेरी चली गई आप दोनों भी डाल दिए को या नीचे को छूना नहीं सिर्फ तेल तेल खोल रहा है लेकिन उंगलियां डालने से कुछ नहीं हुआ हल, हल्का सा एहसास जरूर हुआ कि ये तेल गर्म है लेकिन कम से कम खोल रहा है इस तरह का कुछ नहीं और नायक दिस इज अ वेरी सिंपल चीप मेरे यू टेक लेमन जूस लेयर ऑयल ओवर इट पुट ए लो फ्लेम इट लुक्स लाइक बॉइलिंग बट द टॉप टेम्परेचर इज नॉट इवन फिफ्टी डिग्री सो इट एपेरेंटली बॉइलिंग ऑयल इट इज सो एनी बडी कैन डू इट बट रियल हॉट ऑयल रियल फ्राइड पूरीज ओनली श्री श्री महाराज नरेंद्र जी महाराज कैन डू इट बॉस साहब तो न जाने कब तक आराम से इसमें उंगलियां डाल सकते हैं डालते ही रहेंगे तो इस तरह के बाबा जो ये कहते हैं कि खोलते हुए तेल में वो उंगलियां डलवाते हैं आप समझ रहे हैं ये सिर्फ एक प्रमोद जी अब जो पूरिया तेल में इस्तेमाल करते हैं और ये तेल अब इसमें कड़ाही में गर्म हो रहा है और अब पूरिया बगल में आपको दिख रही है पूरिया तलने की तैयारी है वो भी उंगलियों से मुझसे मत पूछिएगा ये कैसे होगा क्योंकि नायक साहब मौजूद हैं उनके साथ उनके साथ ही मौजूद हैं और वही दिखाएंगे इस बार तो नायक साहब मैं वाकई डरी हुई हूं क्योंकि इस तेल में मुझे कुछ नाउ रियल ऑयल नो लेमन जूस नथिंग ओनली द मेरेकुलस पावर ऑफ नरेंद्र जी महाराज दिख भी नहीं रहा है ये नॉर्मल तेल है पूरिया भी तैयार है ये तेल खोलने वाला है क्या होगा ये हमारे साथी प्रमोद जी अब जो पूरिया तलने में एक्सपर्ट है वो इसको करेंगे अब पूरिया इसको छोड़ देंगे हम तो खोलते हुए तेल में ये पूरिया आप देख रहे हैं पूरी डल चुकी है पूरी अब धीरे धीरे किस तरह से खोलते हुए तेल में ऊपर की तरफ आएगी शायद आने वाले वक्त में लेकिन ये उंगलियों से निकाली जाएगी ये दावा है और इस बार देखना होगा कि ये कैसे मुमकिन हो पाता है विज्ञान कैसे सहायता करता है और कैसे ऐसी ही चीजों का पूरी अब धीरे धीरे ऊपर आ रही है प्रमोद जी पूरी जो है जो है चमत्कारिक शक्ति से है जो निकल जाएगी क्योंकि हमको जो है विशेष शक्ति प्राप्त इस तरह के दावे जो बाबा लोग होते हैं वो करते हैं यही बता रहे हैं आपको प्रमोद जी इस तरह की बातें अगर आपके सामने कोई करता है तो अच्छे से समझा दीजिएगा खबर ले लीजिएगा अच्छे से ये सिर्फ पूरी है जो कि यहाँ पर डाली गई है और एक वैज्ञानिक तरीके से इसको हाथों से निकाला जाएगा खोलते हुए तेल के बीच से इसमें कोई भी चमत्कार नहीं है इसमें कोई भी ईश्वरीय शक्ति नहीं है ये सिर्फ और सिर्फ और सिर्फ विज्ञान है देखिए आगे आगे क्या होता है नायक जी भी लगता है दो पूरे लगे हाथ तल लेंगे तैयार हो बिल्कुल तो शक्तियाँ इन्हीं से प्राप्त हुई हैं इसलिए ये हम तल लेंगे तो आप तो तभी लेंगे ये कैसे कर रहे हैं आप लोग गर्म गर्म पूरी है खोलता हुआ तेल है कैसे उंगलियों से कर रहे हैं ये हमारी चमत्कारी शक्ति से हो रहा है चमत्कारी शक्ति तो बाबा बोलेगा आप तो मैं वैज्ञानिकों के पास इसीलिए आई हूँ आप तो बताइए प्रमोद जी कैसे हो रहा है ये क्या कर रहे हैं आप गर्म जरा भी नहीं लग रहा नहीं नहीं एकदम गर्म नहीं लग रहा है हाँ। और ऐसे ही लग रहा है जैसे कि तेल एकदम ठंडा हो गया है और इस तेल का स्तंभन किया गया है चमत्कारिक शक्तियों से और इसको जो है हमारे ट्रेनिंग जितने भी लोग यहाँ पे लिए हैं ये सारे लोग कर सकते हैं इसके पीछे जो है जो चमत्कार के पीछे जो विज्ञान है वो हमारे नरेंद्र नायक जी आपको बताएंगे तो ये पूरी हम निकाल के देंगे 
तो थोड़ा सा करिए इंतजार ये गरम गरम पूरी अब इससे निकलने वाली है ये देखिए नायक जी ने बड़े ही प्यार से बहुत अच्छी सी पूरी से की है और बहुत पूरे अच्छे से वो फूल वूल भी गई है तो आप बहुत ही स्वादिष्ट पूरी है दूसरी बन गई तेल बहुत ज्यादा साथ में जरूर आया है लेकिन पूरियां तली जा रही है तो दो पूरियां अब इन पूरियों के पीछे की सच्चाई See, really boiling oil. With Josh, I put my hand. Then fingers got burnt. Six months in the hospital. Now oh, I think it's okay. How did it happen? Biochemistry. Yes, our cells are all covered by membrane, which is a lipid bilayer. The hydrophobic part. is on the inside the hydrophilic part is on the outside and the oil sticks to your skin if you already have cold oil sticking to your skin it will take time for the warm oil to stick to your skin so i have dipped my hands into cold oil just removed it put on the side again kept on doing it no miracle at all so there are no miracles at all what do you think as miracles are just tricks using principles of physics or chemistry or mental suggestion or something like that now coming back to my journalist friend gauri lankesh the first time i met her was in 1995 i didn't know her but i knew her father p lankesh so she calls me one day and says i've seen one she was the reporter for a magazine called as sunday she calls uh, me and says i've seen one fellow called as hanuman rayappa from a place called uh, hanuman uh, devlapura near tumkur that's to the north of bengaluru who has got miraculous powers of shani i said what are those miraculous powers she said he can read playing cards i said anybody can read playing cards even my dog can read playing cards she said no 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 from the other side because i had issued him a challenge that time i was on a tour of karnataka and everywhere i went the children were saying that newspapers have carried reports of a man called as hanuman rayappa whose power of shani by which he can read the cards playing cards from the backs and he has earned crores of money by going to clubs and playing so i gave him a challenge i said i will deal you 10 cards out of which if you tell correctly nine i will give you 10000 rupees 10000 rupees was a big sum in those days so gauri called me when she came to know about it she said i have checked him he has got really something because not slate of hand i checked those cards i said okay so we had the challenge in the chamber of dr h narsimhaya who was the first man as a vice chancellor of the of a university he constituted a committee to investigate miracles that was in 1973 or 74 anyway i said i will bring my pack of cards hanumantarayappa said he will bring his pack of cards i said no i said i'll bring mine then we came to a compromise he said you bring a this particular brand of cards a sealed pack which i will open in your presence then you can deal me so i brought a brand new pack he opened in my presence gave me i started dealing him cards he started calling out 5 10 king like that he started calling out and gauri told me see what i told you he has got some power then h narsimhaya said narendra naik this man has got some psychic powers and he called the psychiatrist dr c h chandrasekhar he said come over immediately here is a man showing psychic powers as was the man as sir not necessary i said hanuman rayappa you have got the power of shani I got the power of Shani ka baap, Suraj. I gave him a pack of cards. I said, check it. He checked. I said, deal me. He kept on dealing, and I kept on calling. King of Spades, Five of Clubs, Six of Diamonds. Anuman Rayappa came to the other side of the table and fell at my feet. He said, though you are much younger in age, you have got much more power than me. I can only call out which those cards are, but you can even tell the color, the suit. How did I do that? extraordinary psychic powers so any of you can who knows playing cards please come up
Now concentrate. I see red, see hearts, four, four of hearts. Then Gauri carried a one, two page article in this Sunday about how Hanumatraya power was exposed. Then I became friends with Gauri. She was supporting me in quite a few things, particularly after she started her own newspaper, which was really, really struggling. And uh, from 2016, June, I was given security. Despite of that, somebody tried to attack me when I was going to the swimming pool in the morning. Because the security man, there was only one man during the daytime only. He used to come at 9 o'clock, leave me back at home at 7 p.m. and said, don't come out of the house, sir, and go away. But I used to think swimming pool is near the house. Yeah, Uttam knows. So, I just used to go and come. And on the way, somebody tried to attack me. That was, I think, 11th of March, 2017. Gauri calls me and tells me, be careful, yaar. Why are you behaving like this? I told her, what about you, Gauri? She said, this will not happen to me or something like that in Canada. Adela namge agal rapa, she said. And on the 5th of September, 2017, Gauri is finished. I would have, from that time they put two security people for me, one daytime and one night. Anyway, that's why probably I'm still alive here. So the sad thing is that in this country, speaking the truth has become dangerous. I think it was the 20th year of Maharashtra Sandhya Nirmulan Samiti when I went to Pune. And when I got off from the bus, that time I had no security, nothing. It was in 2013 or 14. Narendra Dabalkar comes and says, Hey, let's go. I said, Hey, you are supposed to be under uh, threat and uh, where is your guard? He said, If I take a guard, they will kill somebody else. Better they kill me. And see, that's what happened. 2013, August 21st, he was killed. So, also Pansare, so also Kalburgi, so also Gauri. When Gauri Lankesh murder was being investigated, SIT was constituted for that. They came across a list of 20 people who were supposed to be finished off. My name was not there. So I was very happy. Then it turned out that it was a waiting list. There was a confirmed list. There were four people. That is Girish Karnad, Bhagwan, myself, and a Niruma Midimat Swami. Girish Karnad is no more. Bhagwan is ill. Niruma Midimat Swami has joined the Edurapa Club. And so, only one man, yeah, pocketed, he said. 60 lakhs of grant. Anyway, sad. So, I think it's time for me to stop. Yeah, questions please, because I want to go into interaction. Questions and doubts, clarifications, all.
it's not very good with this projector, but anybody can do it. Somebody who can, uh, who doesn't need specs can come up here, some younger people, and I'll show you how to do it. This midbrain activation is supposed to be a process by which you can see even when you are blindfolded. And this came in KBC, Kon Manega Karodpati, and we made Amitabh Bachchan withdraw that. We complained to the Broadcasting Council, BCCI, and I think it made a lot of uh, news. And this is a blindfold. Anybody can do that. Yeah, come, Uttam, you can try. Don't need this. You can read without specs, right? Give her anything. Now somebody from the audience can come and give her anything. Not from here. This is just for practice. Metal and check the color. I can see it. No, don't say you can see it. I mean, I can feel it. I can feel the color. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Now take this. Is this a fruit? Yes. Yes, it is fantastic. See, she has developed the power of midbrain activation. <laughs> Just imagine this sort of stupid thing going on. And we expose it, and then the midbrain academy is closed down. Then somebody else started taking it, the double mister took it up. He called it as intuition process. Then another man, Daji, took it up and called some brighter minds or something. And when it was brighter minds, it went to Amitabh Bachchan show. And I came to know that about that only a week later. I complained to BCCI. BCCI investigated it. They asked Sony Entertainment Network to withdraw it. So they had to take it down from YouTube. That's all that happened. Yeah. So here what happens? There's a gap between the eye and the nose. You can always see through that. When I conducted a workshop in your school at Tirchirapalli, they said midbrain activation was done in the school last week. Then they brought one boy for whom midbrain activation was done. When I put this, he was very happy. He said properly. I said, okay, you can see with your uh, eyes closed. He said, yes. Then I took out a bag which goes tight over his head. Then he started panicking. I put the bag. Then I held fingers. I said, how many? He said, five. Everybody clapped the students. Then I held this and said, how many? He said, ten. Again, everybody clapped. So he thought he could really see that. Ten times they bluffed him. All his classmates only. Then I removed the sack and told him. I asked others, tell him, how many times he was right. He said he was wrong ten times after ten. That was in your school at Tirchirapalli, where I had a workshop. And they sent children. I said, how can I have a workshop with children, three-day workshop? Then it turned out that children are better than adults. Yeah. Anyway, so next question, please. Yeah, thank you. Okay, any more questions? So please remember that this particular interaction is just a beginning for the common people. To, when you want to go to the people, it is not enough that we sit and preach among ourselves. But we have to go to the public. We have to go to the children. The children who have come to my program in their school days are now grown. Some of them have even retired. And I meet them everywhere and they tell me that you changed my mind. You changed my way of thinking. After I, when I saw your program in the school, I started questioning many things. And of all the things, two years back, government of Karnataka gave me the Children's Academy Award for promoting scientific temper among children. That was the funniest part, BJP government. But of course it was not the BJP government which did. It was the previous government. Because of COVID the award could not be given. That's all. Right. So I think it's time for dinner. And uh, thank you very much for having given me this patient hearing on the first day. So thank you.
Thank you very much, uh, Naranji. Um, it actually takes us back to Premanandji's evening sessions. Whenever we had conferences and uh, workshops, we used to have Dr. B. Premananda used to come. And uh, you just uh, actually have made us to, rem always you make us remember him. channels.